So what is going on dammers, my name is Meho and welcome to your 32nd Angular 6 tutorial in which we're gonna take a look at how to get started with Redux in Angular and set up all the dependencies and the installations real quick. So let's get started. Alright, so from the last tutorial, we know that um, Redux would be applicable into an application with something like this, where um, this header, let's just say, needs to be updated dynamically whenever some action happens in content, or you know, this header just wants to um, stay connected to a particular store which stores all the values. So, for example, let's just say if I um, log out from here and just don't mind the handwriting just log out and this should be oh this is an o okay so let's just say if i click this button i should update in header from hello whatever to hello guest Well, that was not so bad. Right, so <clears throat> we can do that by creating, by implementing Redux in such an application where there would be a store, a kind of a store. Now, let's just see what it would take to set up this Redux application. So, as I said, there would be a store, there would be something known as reducers and actions. Now, let's just learn about a little about all of them, what they are. We're gonna go into details later on. As we proceed so store think of it as your database your standard area for storing all the state so um, all of your data would be stored into this particular file right then your reducer is something which your components will make use of reducers will be called by the comp components to actually update your store so reducers is a way for components to update the data in store and actions is pretty much what your components would fire off in order to fire particular reducer which would update the data in store so let's just see how we can set up such a system first of all i'm gonna make use of the same intro project which consists of a login application plus registration application on our end. And uh, if you do not have access to this um, uh, repository or rather this code, the repository link is in the description. So what you need to do is just uh, do git clone of, uh, I'm not sure its link is something like Angular 6 YouTube. Then there's a master branch. This, uh, this is some other branch, right? So this should be, um, some um, registration app I believe the name of that branch so the link is in the description you can clone that code and get started there's also server code so we need, just need to start the server here and we can just do that by npm start and our server is already or node mod index a server is already okay so we just need to up the mongo as well here and if you're confused about this, I have tutorials um, demonstrating how to proceed and do everything I'm doing right here in this playlist, which link you can find in the description as well. So let's just try one more time. And you can see that we get mongoose up here. So our server is listening at one, two, three, four. Cool. Now what we can do is right here we can say npm start. And this starts our um proxy configured server which just redirects our api calls to this server all right now what we can do is just go to let's just say i go to this app dot component dot html consists of this router outlet what i'm gonna do is right here i'm gonna say this is a header or let's just say I first of all let me just create a new component here so I'm just gonna say um, ng generate component header so we're gonna make this component 
right here you can see that header component is injected and if we take a look inside its TypeScript file we would be able to see that its selector is app header so let's just inject this boy right here and what we can do is right here we can say something like div id of header and we can say something like h1 my app is the best and then i can say div id links and right here i can say uh first of all we can just show a dashboard link go to your profile user or let's just say um yeah that would do so we would we're gonna fetch this from the store right so um this is log out and log out so i'm just gonna say here log out and um, that's actually react's way i believe i'm just confusing stuff here a little angular has a different approach uh, what we can do is we can say here ng ng if log out right and again we're gonna fetch this information through our store and right here also i can say something like greet message right and what we can do is right here for header component file we can say create message is uh, hello guest you can say log out is true so log out is true if log out is false then we want to display the logout link right so that makes sense okay so logout is true and uh, we have a hello world um hello user message now what we want to do is actually set up um your redux so what we need to do for that is go to our intro and write npm install at the rate angular Re react x which ngrx is for reactive implementation and write store here and let's just save it so what it does is that it gives us access to this um redux apis through angular's interface now redux is a cross language solution it's not limited to angular you can find redux on react as well so um <clears throat> basically um what you need to do is just install redux using this command uh, let's just wait here Okay, so once that's done, what we need to do is just go to um, let's just say app module dot ts, and right here, I'm gonna need to import some stuff. So what I'm gonna do is import something from Angular Store, and what we're gonna import is store module right here. So what the store module does is that it allows us to create a store provide a store to your application and pretty much write the reducers for that as well here so we're going to say store module dot provide provide or actually um what happens is that this provide store i believe was a method which was i guess um in the previous implementation so i believe if we take a look here to our package.json file you can see that our ngrx store is 4.5.2 so above 4 there's a little change in the implementation of this um, store module thing so what we're gonna do is instead of writing provide store we're gonna write store module dot for root and right here we're gonna pass in our reducers right so here this would contain our reducers 
so we can just pretty much import them as well later on when we create some reducers and then we can provide some options here as well you can see right here we get a help here so inside our configuration we can provide an option for initial state for example let's just say you want to initialize your state with some um, predefined stuff for example in our case it would be that the user is logged out and the greeting message of course so we can do all of that stuff here so here goes our initial state and we can do something like um, doing all that stuff so we can say um, let's just say greeting message is hello guest and logout is true something like this so now we just need a reducers variable here so we can write something like reducers and what we can do is pretty much just import these reducers from whenever we create these reducers right so what we can do is actually just create a reducers.js file here or we could have created a ts file as well anyway okay so this should be a ts file not a camel based something so what we're gonna do is inside reducers we're gonna pretty much write our simple functions functions which would actually dispatch actions which would update your store so um, these functions would be similar to what you have seen so far these would be pretty much the standard functions which just just accept an action and a type so we can create a demo function here which accepts an action and type and this is basically just the overview and what we're going to do is switch over that action so this action is basically sent by your component to this reducer so this action tells your reducer that what it needs to do so we're going to say case let's just say um, add one to state variable ABLE x and what's gonna do is return your state dot um, um, I don't know just you just need to map over to your state and see that element is equal to x then state of element I don't know you just need to update it and return keep returning that element whatever you know you get the idea so you can just update the state you can just return the updated state here and it will reflect in your store so this is basically a very um, casual example of uh, creating a reducer and we're gonna create a reducer in the next video because that's all for this one and in the next video as I said we're gonna create reducer and make this thing a little bit workable so i'll see you then in the next video and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications